It was absolutely tremendous. Um, <laughs> literally decades. There have been decades of going to training camp every day, putting on your pads and thinking, maybe today coach will cancel practice <laughs> and tell us to go to the water park. So much so that last year in Minnesota, there was that narrative brewing. It was just a rumor. Our long snapper played the cruelest prank I've ever seen. He hired five coach buses to come to the building and idle between the building and the practice field. Oh, no. The linemen didn't even get taped because they were so like, we're definitely going to the water park. Oh. And they just walked, but no one said anything. So they just walked past the buses, go out to their drill. They just kind of stand around, looking around, like surely he's going to blow the horn and tell us we're on the bus. Nope, horn blew, practice started, the buses drove off. <laughs> they did not talk to the long snapper for about a month. <laughs> That's a bad prank. That's not funny. That really isn't funny. I don't like pranks because they're only funny to the person who pulls them off. But you've got your players who are thinking they're going to get a day off and then they got to refocus on work when the prank was to lead them to believe. I mean, it's 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 genius, but it's not funny to anyone but the guy that pulled off the prank. I mean, it's probably pretty funny that long snapper whose name we don't know because Kirk Cousins didn't say it, and I don't really know many yeah. long snappers. Probably got names. cut. Probably got cut. <laughs> Where's the <laughs> long snapper get the money to have five buses <laughs> show exactly up, dude? You got to save say. everything you make. I know. Must have been in the league for a while if you had that kind of dough. Man, that's interesting. <laughs> The Falcons have created a mystery as the regular season approaches. And I know some Falcons fans don't like to hear it, but when they tell us we're not playing the eighth overall pick in the draft in the final two preseason games, even though he's not the starter, and this is his opportunity to get live reps before he sits on the bench all year, when they tell us we've seen enough from him, it makes you wonder what the hell's going on. And it makes you wonder, as Sim said earlier this week, whether or not Kirk Cousins is going to be ready to go week one when the Steelers come to town. Here's Cousins with an interesting measure on how he's feeling as he continues the road back from that ruptured Achilles tendon. The ankle feels good, so uh, uh, that's all good. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm working back. I, uh, I sprinted on that deal, and they told me I was at 18 miles an hour. And I'm trying to, it's like breaking the sound barrier. I'm trying to break 19 miles an hour. I'll never, they would give out t-shirts if you can break 21. And I said, that's not fair because you guys have this club that I'll never be able to join. So they're really cool t-shirts too. But they said they have a group chat and everything and I can't get in. So I said, but I'm going to start my own group for people who break 19 miles an hour who can't get to 21 miles an hour. So I've broken 19 before. My point is, it's coming off the injury. I got to get back and break it again because I'm still hanging out in the 18s. By the way, he's looking kind of jacked. I mean, who do you think he is with that sleeveless shirt? Derek Carr? <laughs> he's working he is, on his whatever he's, five, too. What, 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 you know? what, whatever he's doing, it's whatever he's doing, it's working. Yeah. Hey, you know, you couldn't you couldn't uh, do many squats maybe with the torn Achilles. He started focusing on the curls for the girls, as they say. My goodness. Yeah, Kirk Cousins looking jacked. Mm. He's know. changed his Derek diet, Carr. gluten free, grain free. In response to the Achilles injury. And that's great that he's able to sprint. And that's one of the pushbacks I get from the Falcons fans. He's sprinting at practice. Sprinting at practice is still different from going out and playing full contact football when your body is moving in all possible directions and you are doing change of direction. You're planting your foot and it's moving. And we saw what happened last year. You physically and visually could see the snapping of the tendon violently in the back of his leg. So running straight line is one type of pressure that you put on this injured area. Planning and moving in cleats. I mean, cle run, it, you know, it just, everything changes when you put cleats on. And you're out there on that turf that doesn't really yes. want to give. And I, I, there, why would they tell us we've seen enough? For what? For what? We've seen enough. We know, we know he'll be perfectly fine sitting on the bench. He's shown as he's prepared to not play. It makes no, the more I think about it, the less sense it makes. We've seen enough from him. I don't know what you, they're planning, but what do you need to see from guy who isn't going to play? <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't really know the answer to that. If it were me, and I, I the thing I, I go back to with this situation is, well, Raheem Morris comes from Los Angeles, right, with the Rams. Rams don't play anyone of significance in the preseason that's why Stetson Bennett's gotten all these snaps when Jimmy Garoppolo is the backup I mean that, it, they're getting him ready to I be the backup the no situation. no 
The no, first two weeks, Garoppolo suspended. They're getting him ready to be the backup. Well, they're, they're getting him ready to be the backup, but he would be the one playing anyway because Jimmy Garoppolo wouldn't be playing because he's the backup of significance, which is what, but the, yeah. the point is what I'm yeah. trying to make here. I, like, Sorry. I don't, that, that's the explanation that I can come up with for why the Falcons are doing the things that they're doing. They try to put things in uh, stressful, controlled environments. They had a scrimmage on Wednesday. It's part of what Kirk Cousins was talking about in his presser too. You know, they felt like they got really good work in that scrimmage. But there, to, to your point, I mean, Michael Penix is not a young quarterback coming into this league. It's not like he's 2021, 20, you know, he's 23, 24, whatever he is. He's got a lot of experience. He's like Bo Nix in that way. He probably would be ready to start as a rookie in most situations, but that's not the situation he's in. So I think it probably would in this situation behoove the Falcons to say, yeah, he's a, he's the backup and we know that. And he is a player of significance, but we should probably play him anyway because when the hell else is he going to play? That's the approach I would take to it. It's not the approach the Falcons are taking to it. And that's the approach that they've got to live with. There's a lot of curious stuff that's happened with the Atlanta Falcons, obviously, and this is just one of them. And that's what makes it harder to discern what they're doing because they've already done irrational, unpredictable stuff. So those of us who are mostly rational have a hard time figuring out what is coming next. But as I said earlier this week, and I've seen, and it really is, on one hand, it's flattering that these aggregation sites are taking our content and slapping a few tweets from some random incels onto the back end, calling me out Whoa. and then put making it a story. But we know how this goes. We know how hex, I'm sorry. What, 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 what are we dealing with? Uh, we, we've been in, we've, we've been residing in that cells to make the program. You know, so that's anyway, all. So anyway, what's well, right here in the sheet, but anyway, anyway, um, what am I saying? Um, what's my point? I had a point. Oh, Oh, I mean, they call it a crazy conspiracy theory. I don't think it's a crazy conspiracy theory to say they're, they're getting ready to play this guy. And they're going to say that Kirk Cousins isn't 100%. And we're going to give him a couple of weeks. And we're going to let Michael oh. Penix play while Kirk Cousins gets all the way to the point where we're comfortable. And then if Penix plays well, Penix keeps playing. It gives you the perfect cover to bench the rookie quarterback because you're not benching him, Kirk Cousins is ready to go. I don't think that's all that crazy, especially when, if I would have said before the draft that the Falcons are lurking to draft Michael Penix, that would have been dubbed a crazy conspiracy theory. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.